Another math video. I'm so excited. Circumcenter coordinates. Okay, circumcenters are composed of the perpendicular bisectors, which, if you've been paying attention in class, means that it cuts the line in half and it's perpendicular to that line. So, in order to find this out, we need to know the midpoint and also the slope of the perpendicular line. Then we can plug both those things into our point slope formula. So right here I'm finding the midpoint, which you should know from chapter 1. And unfortunately I wrote this wrong, it should be the slope of AC, not the slope of AB. Remember you can pause this at any time to figure things out if you need to. So here I found the slope of AC is 4 over 13, and then I take the negative reciprocal, which is negative 13 over 4. And I found my midpoint is 7 over 2 and 3. So using my point slope formula, on the right hand side in red here you can see that I've come up with the equation. Alright, now we have uh, the other, you can choose AB if you want to, but in this case I just chose BC. And I'm finding the midpoint again, so 10 plus 4 over 2 and 5 plus 11 over 2 gives me 7 and 8 for the midpoint there. Boom. Now we have uh, the slope of BC is going to be negative 6 over 6, which is negative 1. And if we take the negative reciprocal of that, we get 1. So that one's a lot more simple. Um, now we have the midpoint and the slope of our perpendicular line, our perpendicular bisector. So that's pretty simple to find the equation for that line, y equals x plus 1. And the last step we have to do is set these two equations, the perpendicular bisector equations, equal to each other. And then we can find out our answer. Unfortunately, there are all these fractions, so it takes a little bit more time. Um, and then here, I get 17 over 4x equals 123 over 8. To save some time, I multiply the denominator and numerator by 2. So then, if I have 8 on the bottom, they both cancel out. So I get 34x equals 123. So x is going to equal 123 over 34. Now, I chose to plug this back into the simpler formula, so it would take less time. So I say 123 over 34 plus that gives me 157 over 34, and there are answers. Hope you enjoyed the show.